What do authors do all day? The short answer is exactly what they want to. Uh, I frequently going into schools and talking about writing and um, I try and convince the members of the audience who maybe don't think being a writer is such a great job uh, why it is in fact one of the best jobs in the world. That's what I believe anyway. There are lots of great reasons to be a writer uh, and one of them is this. I've got a friend who's a writer who lives about a mile away from me. A couple of months ago didn't have much to do so I thought oh, I'll go and see how Kevin is. So. I wandered over to Kevin's house. I got there about half past 11 in the morning. Kevin opened the door in his pajamas. This is what you can do when you're a writer. Uh, if you don't want to get up and walk into your shed, I work in a shed in my garden. If, you don't, if I don't want to go and walk into my shed in the garden, who is going to make me? I once asked that question to a group of uh, kids in the school. A uh, year seven boy at the front said, your mum. And I looked at him and I said, I'm 46 years old. Do you still think I do what my mother tells me to? The answer to that is, of course, yes. But anyway, we, we spend the rest of our lives doing what our mother tells us. But nevertheless, when you're a writer, one of the very best things about it is that your time is your own. And do I spend all day every day in my shed writing? No, absolutely not. I wish I did spend more time doing that because the writing is the very best thing. But I can't actually write a story unless I spent a long time thinking about it, preparing, getting ready to write, daydreaming, planning things, doing research, all manner of things I have to do before I'm ready to write a book. And that's a very, very long process, which means that lots of my days uh, are very strange and empty and I'm wandering around, I'm visiting places, I'm uh, researching things on the internet or in, in specialist libraries. Um, so every day is a little bit different. On a day when I am writing, however, then things get a bit more serious and I get into my shed really early, um, you know, sort of eight o'clock in the morning and I will work through till about six o'clock in the evening and I'll have a very short half hour break for lunch and maybe a couple of tea breaks because once I really get into writing a book, then nothing can drag me away. Um, from the desk and that's really the way I like to be writing is when you're desperate to do it You're desperate to put the words down on on paper Just to finish off one of the questions that you get asked a lot when you're a writer is uh, does it take self-discipline? To be a writer self-motivation in order to make yourself go and write a book and the, the answer to that is no if it takes self-motivation to be a writer go and do something else because there are far easier ways of not earning very much money than being a writer um, if you're a writer, you want to tell this story, you are desperate to do it and you know, it doesn't take much effort to, to force you to do it. You want to do it. Uh, what you do have to be, however, is organised because although I said at the start, oh yeah, if I, don't have to, I, if I don't want to get up, I don't have to. If I don't go into my writing shed one particular day and get some words down on paper, it means the next day I do, there'll be twice as much to do. So you do need to be a little bit organised about your time. Um, but that's what I love best about being a writer is the freedom. It's fantastic.